Hi everybody. Today I bring to you part 17 in my super huge series on shortcuts and automation and integrating um, calendar into your good notes, etc. This automation, go watch the overview. It's going to tell you all about automation. I just want to get into the specifics um, with this video. This is going to um, set up, you, we are going to create a shortcut that will um, pull events from your calendar, whether you choose one specific calendar or all of your calendars and send you an automatic email every day of your newly created events, okay, in order of creation. So um, it's not going to send you an email of, you know, your events May 1st, 2nd, 3rd. It's going to send them in order of when they were created. So that way you never miss an event that you just newly created. You can go watch the overview video. Hopefully I've explained it better than that. But so you're going to get an email like this where it says upcoming events. And then these are the events that were newly created. And it's the, so if I, I just created this event, right? And that's why it's first, even though it's May 30th and this is May 23rd, because that was on the calendar longer than this. Okay, so that's what we're going to set up today. It's very exciting. So the first thing you're going to do is hopefully you've gone to my website. Um, the website and this video, they work hand in hand. Um, all everything's. this is kind of like a dummy page, but um, it all is set up the same. So you're going to want to read the information and watch the video. They work hand in hand. Now you can create the shortcut yourself using the screenshots that I have put on, on the web page, or you can just download the shortcut to your iPad. Now keep in mind, even if you are downloading the shortcut, you still have information that you need to fill out. So um, here's the link to the shortcut down here. You're going to want to copy and paste that into your browser. You want to, before you do that though, you want to go into your settings, into shortcuts, and make sure you have private sharing turned on in order for the shortcut to get installed uh, in your app. Okay. What you're looking for is email cal. All right. And when you pull, when you open the shortcut, this is what it looks like. And the parts in yellow are what I have my little notes to you. Okay. So I walk you through it. And so we'll just kind of read along. Okay. So um, this shortcut is going to get all events from one specific calendar, or if you want all events from all of your calendars, you're going to have a choice. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to change, you can change the date range where it says start date is in the next blank. So here it says find all calendar events. And then it says start date is in the next three months. You can change the number and you can change the um, time period. So you can do year, week, days, hours, minutes, seconds. You can choose. The default that I created was three months. And calendar is calendar. So if you want to choose uh, events from one specific calendar, all right, so like for me, I have a shared calendar with my husband and daughters. Um, that's the family calendar. I could, um, maybe I just want to get an email sent to me about that. So then I would choose calendar is family, okay? Um, or if you want, you can have, you can delete this. And by deleting it, and it tells you how to do it up here, if you want to get all of your calendar events from all your calendars, click the minus button and then delete. And then you will get an email, um, however you choose to set it up, of all of your newly created events from all of your calendars. Okay, but for today, I'm not doing that. We're going to choose a specific calendar. I'm going to choose Erica. And yes, if you've watched my previous video, if you're a Google Calendar, obviously it'll work. You can see Google, if you have Google Calendar integrated, if you've set that up into in your settings, like I showed, uh, it'll also pull your Google Calendar. Oopsies, I didn't want to do that. Okay, so I'm choosing Calendar is Erica. I'm choosing this to pull from just one calendar. Now you scroll to the bottom. And now we're going to set up, whoa, 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 the email. So tap the show more. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, add your email in the recipients. This will say send text to 
uh, recipients as upcoming events. So you're going to want to put in your email here. And you can also change the where it says upcoming events. You can change that to whatever you want it to say. You just tap on it and then change it. Okay, then you can toggle this um, arrow down and that's where you'll enter in. The only thing you're going to want to do is enter in your email. Okay, um, it'll ask you just that's the only thing you want to do. All right, uh, it'll like it's a show compose sheet. Do not turn that on. We do not want that on. Okay, so now you have um, created your shortcut and we can test the shortcut by clicking play up here, the little play button. Okay, now it's not doing it on mine because this isn't my first rodeo, but on, it'll be your first rodeo. So it's gonna pop up and it's gonna ask you if you want to allow it to send um, these events to you. You're gonna wanna choose always allow. This is critical, always allow. Otherwise the automation won't go through. So um, always allow, all right? So now we've tested it. So now we're gonna go over to our email and see if we got a new email. Oh, we did, there we go. So it pulled it up and you can see it's pulling up in the order of creation date, right? So um, yeah, I hope that that helps. So now we're gonna, we have our shortcut. So now we have to create an automation that runs this email cal shortcut. Okay, so we're going to go to our main shortcuts page and tap on the sidebar and see where it says automation. You're going to tap on that and we're going to create a new automation with the plus button. Okay, so you want to select time of day and then you want to choose when you want to have this email sent to you. Now think about it if you want daily, weekly, or monthly and then what time of day. So I am going to choose um, 9.33, just so that way we can like see it in action. And then daily, and again, you can choose, this is all up to you how you want it to do it, but um, it says run after confirmation, no. We wanna run immediately. If you were to select run after confirmation, it would send you a prompt and it wouldn't be automatic. And what we want is we want it completely automatic. So run immediately must be selected and do not select notify when run. You don't need that, okay? So now click next. Now at 9.33 a.m. daily, what do you want it to do? Well, we want it to run this automation email cal. There. So you see it says at 9.33 a.m. daily, it's going to email cal. So now we have one whole minute to wait while we wait for that to, to come through. <laughs> All right. Um, I can't stress enough how cool this is. So I hope you like it. There it is. Recently added to calendar. Wait, is that it? No. The hell is that? Ugh, junk. Let's see, it's not 9.33 yet. There it is, upcoming events, there. So it's just a really handy way, so that way you never miss events that are added to your, um, you know, digital calendar. Again, I hope that this helped you. Have a great day and thanks for watching, bye.